Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I do videos several times a week, sometimes several times a day. In today's video, you get another rambling, and it's still the same Sunday morning. So, we're rambling about, or ranting about, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, and why I never, ever, ever going to watch that show. So, is it because there's no hobbits? Is it because there's no Middle Earth? Uh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's a ripoff of Lord of the Rings. I mean, I've never watched it. I don't go on uh, IMB to review bomb a show I've never watched. I just wait till I watch it to review bomb it. But you can't even do that now. Amazon has locked. <laughs> Their review ability. You cannot review this show at all. This You cannot. You can't review uh, episodes. No. It is okay. And why? Because they know the show fucking sucks. If there is no Middle Earth, if there is no fucking Hobbits, I am not watching the show. Give me my fucking Hobbits. Give me my Middle Earth. You are ripping off of a, sh of a franchise that most everybody knows. Did you even film it in New Zealand? Just an idea. Just, just a question. Um, so I have been hearing a lot of things about how bad this show actually is. And I am going to say this. The best indication that your show really reeks of monkey butt, as my brother would say, is if you lock your review, you lock out, You nobody can review the show. Not even people who like the show can review the show. It's literally, Amazon is so determined not to let this show bomb that they will lock out people who actually like the show. Which means the show sucks. It just, they put a billion dollars of morons money into this show. And obviously it really is bad if you lock the review section. You just, no, no. <laughs> I like, at least, at least, I, it, come on, <laughs> just. I went on Amazon to see Undercover Boss, and I actually saw it actually was locked. Just you cannot leave a comment about any particular episode, what this character... Now, I have HBO Max, and I never watched... Um, uh, was it... Um, was it... Oh, that one... Uh, one with the dragon lady and uh, uh, Game of Thrones. I never watched Game of Thrones. Um, I only got through half of the first episode, the first season of The Witcher. Not because I didn't understand, you know, the mythology from the country was coming from, and that was its own, uh, own shit show. <laughs> yeah, um, that was. Um, but they're saying the House of Dragon is ju is better than the Rings of Power. And literally, HBO Max has such confidence that you'll like the show, they allow you to leave reviews, or at least I think they do. They probably do. Um, because HBO Max goes that way, and... Please, I am not even going to go into the whole thing about Bruce Wayne resurrecting his parents, which was seven layers of fucked up. Just seriously, really, what do you think is going to happen? I won't talk about that. Okay, I just, I, I mentioned that. I mentioned that. Yeah. Um, Simpsons is so much better than The Rings of Power, because I'm pretty sure you can leave a review with that one as well. Um, literally, when I heard that Amazon locked their review thing, meaning that you couldn't review the show at all. I'm thinking it must really be bad. I mean, I'm 
probably going to guess um, a lot worse than people felt about Miss Marvel and She-Hulk. <laughs> probably. Um, that's, and at least with She-Hulk, I'm getting entertained and I'm laughing. Um, you know, if, hey, if you have a bad day, watch the show. You'll be laughing your ass off. But that's the thing is when you go and you lock the review ability out of a show, which I'll tell you something, people rely on those reviews to make a decision. And I'll tell you something, some reviews I have read sometimes have nothing to do with the product. But they rely on them to make informed decisions. And what I think is going on is because the show is so horrible, and I'm based on the fact that you can't comment, um, that they want to ensure that the show does well by keeping people from being able to tell you what they really think of the show. And, you know, like I said, I have, n I, you know, I have never watched the show. And I am only basing this on the fact that they locked out people's ability to review the show. If you are not allowing people to review something, it's probably a bad show. Or, pro you know, like, what are you going to try to do? Sell Ring of Power merchandise? merchandise? I really doubt that's going to go over well. But... Thing is, thing is, you know, as much as people like, oh, I hate She-Hulk, or I hated Miss Marvel, or I hated Captain Marvel, um, you know, at least if they were able to review the movie or show on Amazon, at least they would be able to do it. It seems like The Ring of Power is the only movie, or not movie, only show that the comments or reviews are, you can't review it. Um, you know, like, you look at, like, Spider-Man, I think there's a section in there where you can review the, the movie. And a lot of people who bought the movie or bought the movie again are like, yeah, I really love this movie, and this movie is really awesome, and all that nice stuff. Um... And that's the thing. We we really we really raise our eyebrows when you got a multi trillion dollar company, because apparently he's richer than God, um, and they do not want you to review the movie or review the show. Obviously the show is really bad. And um it just makes me not want to watch it. I don't want to watch a show that makes me go can someone find me a knife so I can, like, rip, like, just rip my eyeballs out? Just, mm. so, yeah. So, I automatically have come to the conclusion that the show sucks. The actors suck. The sh settings suck. Everything about the show sucks. Because you can't review it. If you allow people to review it, you might end up finding a lot of people like the show. Or a lot of people hate it. And you really need to find a way to make the show more um, faithful to Tarkinson's uh, world. Because if it hadn't been for what he wrote, you wouldn't have your show. But, um, yeah, people say there isn't any hobbits. Are there elves? Are there elves in the show? Does anyone know? Could someone please comment on this rambling if there's actual elves in the show? Because I really would like to know. Are there elves? Are there tree people in the show? I don't know. I'm not watching the show because I can't fucking review it. <clears throat> Tell the back. People say, well, you can review it on your channel. I am not going to go through it. Uh-uh. It looks like something that you would watch to get, like, your teeth pulled or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I already have a bad impression of the show just by the fact you can't review it. So, yeah. <laughs> am I going to watch a show? Hell no, I am not. I have better uses of my time. Thank you very much. So, I'm going to end it here. If anyone agrees with my rambling, 
please let me know. And hey, if you watched the show and it was good and it had elves and, and tree people, I don't know what they call them, but let me know. I mean, I would like to know. But if you hated it, let me know. i like to know if you hated the show uh, because this girl ain't watching it. No, 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 no. I would rather watch Doctor Strange or the X-Men than watch this show that you can't review at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go. <laughs> and yeah, I, I just, I'm not pulling, I'm not kicking the dead horse. I've already kicked it once and probably eight times. And I ain't kicking again because that horse is dead and it ain't getting back up. So, um, I, so if you like this video, and uh, if you don't like it, okay. But if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can be informed of when I bring out a new video. So, uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys around. Until next time, nerds, read on.